All right, everybody, this is this is an interesting one. This occurred a couple days ago. It's the CDK global ransomware attack, and we're, we're calling it a ransomware attack, even though I don't think um, CDK has announced that, but that's what the rumors are right now. So this is not, um, it didn't occur to them just once, it occurred to them twice. So on June 18th, CDK suffered a cyber attack or a breach. The company tried to reopen their doors and suffered a second breach on June 21st. So right now, I believe they are indicating they don't know when they're going to come back up online. CDK Global is a software as a service platform that provides a full suite of applications to handle car dealerships operations, their sales, their back office, the financing, inventory, service, and support. Uh, CDK is considered a third-party vendor. This is considered a supply chain or third-party attack. This affects companies that use their services. Um, the attack affects like other car dealerships, well, car dealerships, repair shops, customers, um, people who want to purchase and repair their vehicles. So uh, real quick into some of the terms. There's not a lot of information about the attack, so just jumping into terms right now. The business continuity is, is a plan to recover from a disruption or emergency. Its process-driven approach covers the entire business, includes all of the processes, not just an IT infrastructure and um, systems workflows. The goal is to continue delivering products or services at acceptable levels, even after a disruptive incident like a natural disaster, cyber attack, power outage, equipment failure, or sudden staff departure. And in this case, companies that utilize CDK would have to have a plan in place in case that system went down and they couldn't do it. If you if you read a lot um, online, you might actually see where some um, repair service shops are um, talking about going back to the old carbon copy paper receipts and paperwork. CDK, CDK Global is a major player in the auto sales industry. I think you may have picked that up already. It's based outside of Chicago, uh, provides software technology to dealers, helps with day-to-day -day operations, as mentioned before, like for sales and financing, um, etc. So CISA, Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency. Um, this is the nation's kind of risk advisor. They work with partners to defend against threats and they collaborate with industries to help more secure and help build more secure and resilient infrastructure for the future. So what is double extortion? This is when data is stolen, it's downloaded and stored on the bad guy's servers, then the company's data is encrypted on their devices and the company is extorted. The important thing to remember about this is that the rumors are that it's a ransomware attack. There's also a rumor that CDK is planning on paying that ransomware. And so they would be vulnerable to this if the um, bad guys are still in their system and or had already downloaded data. This, this could become a little bit of a problem. And also right now the rumor is that um, it's an Eastern European group that is trying to claim responsibility. I think that was from a Reuters article. So ransomware is a type of malware that holds a victim's sensitive data or device hostage. It threatens to keep it locked or unless the victim pays ransom. Uh, this is usually not recommended. The paying of the ransomware is usually not recommended, but many organizations will pay. They're in a, a quandary because if they don't pay, it'll take them longer to uh, get back online, and that's if they can get back online. Um, but if they pay, they might be... A victim to double extortion or multiple attacks if they uh, are not careful and aware of what's going on. It puts puts the victim in a predicament, especially if the criminal doesn't have any um, any ethics even along the criminal path. Software as a service. Software as a service is a form of cloud computing which the provider offers the use of application software to a client. Sort of like this. They give them the um, the software, they provide some of the support, etc. And so this definition is from Wikipedia. The distinguishing feature of software as a service compared to other software delivery models is that it separates the possession and ownership of software from its use. Um, software as a service began around the turn of the 21st century and became the main form of software application deployment around 2023. 
third party or supply chain attack, a third party uh, cyber attack, also known as a third party data breach or supply chain attack, is a cyber attack that occurs when a third party compromises an organization's systems or data. Um, this can include vendors, suppliers, contractors, partners, service providers um, that have access to the internal systems or customer data. So recommendations, there's not a lot of um, information out yet, so this, so for this specific incident, uh, we're going to try to keep it uh, simple. You need to have a business continuity plan for emergencies, provide social engineering training, have role-based access, focus on least privilege, and an incident response plan. And then what I also did on this one is we pulled out the, um, whoops, the CISA, CISA um, information and con communications technology supply chain risk management. So this is on the CISA page. What they want you to do is identify the people, build a team of representatives from various roles and functions of the company, ensure personnel at all levels are well trained in the security procedures of their role or function. And so this is in line with supply chain risk management. Okay, you also want to manage the security and compliance. Document the set of policies, procedures that address security, integrity, resilience, and quality. Ensure they're based on the industry standards and best practices on how to um, con conduct the scrim, such as those with, the, with NIST. Okay, assess the components. Build a list of your components, hardware, software, services, organization, um, your organization procures to enable your business. So know everything about every piece of hardware, software, and services. Know which internal systems rely upon um, critical information or functions and which systems have remote access capability that must be protected to prevent unauthorized access. Know the supply chain and the suppliers. Identify your suppliers and when possible the supplier's sources um, Again, in an increased environment of outsourcing, it's important to understand the upstream suppliers as part of your larger supply, supply chain ecosystem. And if you do some research on CDK, they're really big. You'll see on their website that they probably have over 15,000 customers, but they also have a lot of focus on cybersecurity. And one of the articles um, that they had posted was actually about everybody is vulnerable to cybersecurity attacks. So try to try to be really aware of things and, and don't assume just because an organization is big, they have a lot of customers, that they are not vulnerable to attacks. Everyone is vulnerable. Verify assurance of third parties. This means verify that your suppliers maintain an adequate security culture and a CRM program to appropriately address the risks that concern your organization. Establish the protocols your organization will use to assess that. Evaluate your SCRM program, determine the frequency with which to review your SCRM program, incorporate feedback, and make changes to your risk management program. So constantly go back and forth. This can include auditing uh, the suppliers, asking them to provide up-to-date information on a regular basis, um, and just make sure that, those, uh, that you audit their um, practices and protocols Sometimes this will involve probably a non-disclosure agreement with them as well. And so the credits, these credits, they're short. There wasn't a lot of information other than everybody saying that they were attacked. There were some um, comments about Ford, uh, maybe BMW, Auto Advance, and Penske being victims. And these companies also said that they have their business continuity plans in place and had varying levels of operations, but they were, they were, they were moving forward. All right. So anyway, so CISA was the good article. There was an article about the attack from data economy, Wikipedia, of course, with the software as a service breakdown, bleeping computer is always one of the best ones to get information. So access them for two articles. Uh, CDK went into their site, did a search on their cybersecurity stuff, and um, like I said, they had a lot going on in there. It's unfortunate that they have been uh, breached, and we wish them and all their customers and the people who are purchasing cars and trying to get their cars repaired. And of course, Reuters. Reuters was the article that mentioned that it was an Eastern European company and that this was now a ransomware attack. Okay, so one more time, CDK global ransomware attack. I'm calling it a ransomware attack because of um, some of the rumors online. CDK has not 
uh, posted that they were they were attacked. They they just said they're down. Uh, this is they actually had two attacks. They thought they recovered from the first one within a couple of days, and they were right back where they started. Uh, nobody is safe. Take your time when you're evaluating your processes and your your safety and your security. Once you're attacked, make sure you're good. No sense jumping the gun and getting back online and then finding out within hours that you're down again and you have to start from scratch. Good luck, everybody, and I hope that your cars and you are not affected by this. Thank you. Bye-bye.